In today's video, we'll analyze the treatment for tinnitus using acupuncture. This treatment was for a male patient, age 42, and I was treating him for pain but on the first appointment he complained that he also had tinnitus. It was on both sides, but mostly on his left side, so he heard it more on his left ear. He had it for years, he couldn't pinpoint how it started, he just knew he had it for a few years now, and it was always there, sometimes stronger, some st sometimes weaker, but it was always present, and he described it as the sound of running water. As we were doing a treatment for pain, I couldn't do a complete treatment for tinnitus, but in the first session I used the YNSA or Yamamoto New Scalp Acupuncture Protocol for tinnitus. If you like this kind of content, and you want to learn more about the techniques I show in my videos, Check out the courses I have available, the links are in the description. I have courses available in Portuguese and also in English. Along with the other treatment we were doing for pain. And this treatment consists of four points, which are more or less these ones. This is the ear, yin and yang points, and also the tinnitus one and two points. I applied this treatment on the left side, which was the side where the patient felt the tinnitus stronger, and after the first session, the patient registered that the tinnitus was still there, but the volume was even on both sides, meaning the left side had lowered the volume to the same as the right side, and the tinnitus remained like that for the rest of the treatment we were doing for the pain. After we finished the pain treatment, I proposed to the patient that we continue treating for the tinnitus and try and get rid of it. The patient agreed, so I moved forward with the treatment for tinnitus. I know that there is always a discussion on how to diagnose the tinnitus according to TCM. Some people use the pitch of the sound, some people use the intensity, combine it with the pulse, with the tongue, with everything else. The method I like better to do this diagnosis is to follow the principles of the balance method. And the first question we ask when using balance method to diagnose tinnitus might sound weird to you, but it, it is to ask the patient where does the sound come from? And you'll be surprised that most patients will be able to pinpoint from which side and from which direction the sound comes from. And in this case, the patient described the sound as coming from the side, which for the balance method users, no, this is a Shaoyang indicator, mainly gallbladder. So the two main approaches to continue this treatment would be either a global balance using Shaoyang Zhuiyin or Shaoyang Shaoyin. And for this, I asked a second question, which was, does the volume of the sound go up when you're tired, and the patient said yes, this is a clear Shaoyin indication. Mainly kidney. So I decided to go for a global balance using Shaoyin Shaoyang. So on one side we'll use the heart channel, the Shaoyin of the hand, and for this treatment I used two different images. One, the regular image where the hand will represent the head, and also the big image where the, the full head is represented on a limb, so the area of the ear will be more or less around the area of the elbows and the knees. So I looked for Asha points around heart 3 and also around heart 8. On the other side I went for triple warmer or Sanjiao, the Shaoyang of the hand, and for the elbow area, I searched for Asha points 
around triple warmer 10, but for the hand I used a specific master tongue point, which was Sanchasan. This point affects the triple warmer, but it also has the indication to strengthen kidney. And as this was a clear case of Xiaoyin deficiency, which is what we diagnosed when the patient told us that the sound goes up when he's tired, this point is very good for this situation and it also is on the image of the head over the hand. Going now towards the lower limbs, we go for kidney, the showing of the leg, and we use Asha points around kidney 3 and kidney 10. And on the other leg, we go for gallbladder, Shaoyang of the leg, and we use Asha points around gallbladder 34 and also gallbladder 41. After needling, the patient said that the volume of the sound went down and by the end of the session, the patient could no longer hear the noise, which was very uncommon for, for the patient. He said that the noise was always on, sometimes louder, sometimes quieter, but never gone. So the patient went home and he came back after a week and he told me that he had no tinnitus for five days and it started coming back two days before he came to the appointment. I kept on with the same reasoning behind the treatment. Of course, the Asha points sometimes shift a bit, but in the same areas. And again, the patient left with no noise. When he came back again after a week, he told me that the tinnitus did not come back, but he could feel a weird sensation on his left side. So we did the treatment once again and the tinnitus never came back. This was a very successful treatment for tinnitus using my favorite combination of techniques to treat this problem, which is the balance method with a hint of master tongue and also YNSA. I know that tinnitus is very hard to treat using any technique and even using these techniques, I don't get 100% success rate. These are the techniques that get me the more consistent results. Most of my patients will feel at least a reduction of the level of tinnitus, and for a lot of them we can completely get rid of the tinnitus. Of course, there's always a percentage we can't help, but this combination of techniques, in my experience, is the best one and the one that gets us more consistent results. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching as usual.